Doctor, thank you very much for your time. I wonder if you could just explain to us what this new variant does with antibodies from a previous COVID infection. Is it always or just sometimes able to evade them? Okay, uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say that uh, right now, there's no evidence that the vaccines will not work, and I would encourage everybody who can uh, to be vaccinated. I would do it if I could. Uh, there are no vaccines, of course, right now available in South Africa. Um, so what this uh, variant uh, does, at least in the lab, is it, uh, it basically escapes from antibodies uh, to previous variants. What, what this means is that if you were uh, infected with uh, a variant uh, in the first wave in, uh, uh, that peaked in, in July, uh, and then we, we took your blood and looked at the antibodies, uh, these antibodies are unable to recognize or at least to, uh, to shut down uh, these new, ver uh, these new uh, variants in an effective way. So does that mean that if I have had COVID-19, I will definitely be susceptible uh, to the variant? No. Uh, so the, our immune system is pretty complex. It has more uh, pieces to it than just antibodies. So we don't know exactly what the other pieces do and how it's all going to uh, play out. So it's, it's not definitely it's not a done deal. Uh, but it, 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 they are concerning results because usually antibodies are, are very important in our immune response. I'm wondering what contributes to a virus mutating as much as the 501 has. We know that mutations happen regularly with viruses, and this is something uh, that the teams in South Africa have been really vigilant with monitoring. And then suddenly this huge mutation, it seems, um, is it... Is it what the virus encounters in the human body that impacts how it mutates and how much it mutates? Well, I mean, there's a couple of things going on here, but in general, what we're seeing is something called adaptation. So the virus is adapting to us and our immune systems and possibly also to uh, escape from antibodies from uh, uh, previous infections. So we see these same mutations that we see in South Africa arising independently in other countries like Brazil. So this virus is finding kind of a solution uh, to uh, our immune system. Um, it's becoming uh, kind of more uh, adapted to humans and it's uh, becoming more adapted to the previous immune responses possibly. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, we've definitely, um, I think, underestimated uh, the ability of this virus to actually change and, and become uh, a little bit more difficult uh, for us to handle. You know, as we saw at the, the briefing at the White House on Thursday, Dr. Anthony Fauci, Fauci saying that there's extreme concern that the South African discovered variant uh, could emerge in the USA. We know that the... Uh, the variant discovered in the UK is already in the USA, but it's not clear if the South African version is in the USA. But I'm just wondering, uh, with the concern about how it seems the variant found here can uh, evade some of the antibodies, do you think this variant could almost make South Africa a pariah in terms of the rest of the world? Yeah, I don't think so, because at the end, uh, if this variant doesn't come to the United States, they'll have their own variant, which does very similar things. So this, uh, the, uh, uh, the virus has shown it can adapt uh, in various places in, in similar ways. They don't need to be connected to each other. So at the end, uh, I think it, it, it happened here perhaps first for reasons we don't completely understand, uh, but it's going to happen other places as well because that's the nature of the virus. You mentioned the importance of continuing with the vaccination rollout a little earlier. I just want to go back to that and explain to us why it's so important. We don't know if the, if the vaccines will actually uh, immunize us against this variant 501. There is a suggestion that it, it, it likely will have some sort of immunity protection. But it's interesting because Dr. Fauci also said it is critically important to con continue with vaccinations because that also helps control ongoing mutations. Tell us more. 
Well, I, I, I would I would definitely agree with uh, uh, Tony Fauci. Uh, we need to uh, to vaccinate. I, there's different arms of the immune system that are triggered by the vaccine, not only antibodies, and and those will work. We don't know if the changes that we're seeing are actually uh, got, are, are telling us that the vaccines won't work. There's no evidence for that right now. They may work uh, a little less or a lot less, or or maybe they'll work exactly the same. So right now, it's it's basically an open question. Uh, there's more to uh, vaccines than antibodies. And even if the antibodies are uh, partly compromised, there still be enough, there might be still enough protection. In any case, all these questions we, will be resolved in the coming weeks. But uh, if you can take a vaccine now, I would do it. Thank you so much uh, for chatting to us uh, this evening. That was Dr. Alex Siegel, a virologist from the Africa Health Research 